Hey guys, Mr. Woodman back at it again, giving you another walkthrough of the packet. This is going to be quarter four, packet two for world history. Um, I'm going to go ahead and break it down for you guys. This is going to be the first thing you see when you guys open up your packet, right? When you see your packet. Um, use this kind of as like a checklist of things to do. It's a schedule of what you should be doing every day. Um, the workload, I know some of you guys may have issues with the workload being too much. So I went ahead and I kind of diluted it. But mo most, the, mostly the reason, mostly the reason, the main reason why I did that is because we are talking about World War II and there's a lot of information that we need to cover. So I'm going to go ahead and the PowerPoints that I do post and the PowerPoints that you should be reading are going to be a lot more in terms of uh, depth and detail. And so another thing that I did was I had one of you guys tell me that the, um, the videos and the PowerPoints were kind of redundant because the information is, is in the book, which it is. So I went ahead and those old PowerPoints, the ones that I posted last week, those were made before all of this stuff happened. So the ones now are designed specifically for us today. So what, what I pretty much did was I put verbatim word for word from the book into the new lectures. And then um, if there's something I want to add to it, well, I'll add to it while I'm talking about it. I'm reading it to you guys. So use it more of, of a, as an exercise of me reading it to you, me going over it with you, instead of you just reading it on your own in the book. Also class, it's very important that when you guys are doing the, the questions on the end of the PowerPoint, make sure you remember those because I'll give you a hint, they're the same questions on the quiz at the end of the packet, okay? So let's get started. So Monday, Tuesday, you're gonna focus on 9.1, aggression, appeasement, and war. Wednesday, Thursday, you're gonna focus on 9.2, Axis powers, advance. Then Thursday, I'm sorry, Friday, we are gonna have our Zoom meeting. So I do encourage you guys to come out and talk about the assignment, talk about what you're learning, talk about you know, any questions that you may have, talk about literally anything. Um, so Monday, you guys do have a quiz, it is in this packet. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're gonna kinda, kinda sorta discuss the uh, Holocaust. And then Friday, that, that next Friday, right, is going to be another office hours type of thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and talk about the actual, right, the actual lecture PowerPoints. So if we go, if we go, right, you can see these questions here. Some of these are going to be at the quiz at the end. So let's go through them. These are gonna be the three lecture slides that I gave you guys. Now here is going to be the packet four question two um, questions, right? So I went ahead and I did you guys a solid by actually typing out all of the questions from the book. So if you guys don't have a book, I don't want to hear this excuse that, oh, I couldn't look at the questions. It's right here. Um, it's going to be for topic 9.1, 2, and 3. Um, here, for those of you guys who, I mean, if you're watching this, you should be no issue. But I went ahead and I summarized the um, video of the audio book of, of Ely Weissel reading himself his own chapter, chapter three, um, about his life in Auschwitz in the concentration camps during the Holocaust. Um, it's very important that we understand just the amount of, of horror that we've talked about when we talk about war, the amount of dread. And so it's gonna be very important to kind of realize just how much of an issue it was by getting an in-depth look of someone who actually experienced it. Um, so if you guys want to use read this along with the assigned reading or assigned listening, because of course it's going to be an audiobook, YouTube video. So you guys could do that together. And then the last thing here is going to be the questions, which are somewhere in here. All right, class, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey guys, Mr. Woodman here, back at it again, this time in ELD, ELD3. Um, so guys, this is going to be a quick little walkthrough like I did last, last week for you guys. Quick walkthrough of what's expected for you to do in this packet. Um, I read some of your guys' comments about the, the workload, so I went ahead and I made it a little bit lighter for you guys by giving you guys a project, right? I went ahead and I assigned to you guys a project. So before we get to the project, let's talk about the day for day. All right, so for Monday, I want you guys to read the New Zealand article entitled Seven Things You May Not Know About Sing of the Mayo. I know Sing of the Mayo just passed. But um, I still think it's a very interesting look into the holiday, whether or not it even is a holiday. Number two, I want you to write out and define the vocab words for the article. And I want you to write at least two sentences per vocabulary word. For Wednesday, I want you to complete the questions that I have attached. Um, Thursday, I want you to start your musical research PowerPoint assignment part two. 
So if you guys remember, one of your guys' favorite assignments was to create a PowerPoint and um, not necessarily present, but you're going to make the PowerPoint and I'll pretend that you're presenting it. But you're going to make a PowerPoint about your favorite musician. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a couple of days to figure out who you want to do. You can start researching. And then I'm going to need you guys to go ahead and send it to me. Send me what you're, what, who you're going to work with or work for, who you're going to study. Um, this time class, don't, there's no, there's no need for you guys to upload a song. You guys don't need to do that since I can't show it to the rest of the people. So go ahead and make a PowerPoint like you did last time. But this time, since you have a lot more time and you're able to, to, uh, to do it at home, I expect a little bit more effort. I expect a little bit more, um, polishness. I want it to look nicer than it did last time. Last time you guys got away with just doing it because you guys didn't really know what to do. Now that you guys know how to do it, I expect it to be better. So I want you guys to conduct your research on Monday, Tuesday. I want you to at least start on the PowerPoint Wednesday to be working on it. Thursday, it should be completed. So try to complete it. And then Friday, you need to turn it into me. right there. It says right Friday right here, turn in musical research. So on Fridays, it's also going to be the same thing as the office hours. So I'll be going ahead and sending you guys the zoom links. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, talk to me about pretty much anything. I will also be making phone calls to your parents if you haven't turned in your work yet. So make sure you turn that in. Um, here's the articles. Here's gonna be the quest, the vocab words. So go ahead and type in the definition and then the two sentences for each one. Here's gonna be the questions about the packet. And then here class is going to be the research for the PowerPoint too. I went ahead and I changed it a lot. So if you guys don't have access to, for whatever reason, you're either doing it on paper packet, paper packet form, or you're doing it on, or for whatever reason, your PowerPoint app or your slides app doesn't work, go ahead and just type it in here, right? Says it right here. Just go ahead and type it in and submit it. To me. That's it. So you guys have a couple of days to work on this. All right, class. Hope you guys have a good one. Hope everything's fine at home. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.